Welcome. Scott here. In this video I will be showcasing my runs for the current season Spire of Honor Floor 13 to 15. I will be doing two runs each with my main and F2P account. My main account will be using the Mono Blue Team, Mars, Lotus, Julius, and Swimsuit Charmy. My F2P account will be using the following team of Mars, Lotus, Swimsuit Noel, and Season 3 Charlotte. These are the same team comp that I have used in the previous floors. You can check out the video in the video description and pinned comments below. From floor 7 onwards, all mages will have maxed enhancements. Certain units will become more dangerous as a result of that. For example, Swimsuit Noel will do counter at the start of the wave. From this point onwards, we will start to see the Almighty Julius, who will be revived back to full health upon killing him for the first time. For the last three floors, we will be fighting the annoying Langris, who has immortality and his skills can disturb healing mechanics like reducing healing effects or prevent HP healing. He can also instantly refill his SP thus allowing him to spam his special like no tomorrow which makes him even more dangerous. All the three fights will features Langris and raids. The variation is on the other two units. Floor 13 features Swimsuit Noel and Clover Academy Charlotte. Floor 14 features Swimsuit Charmy and Julius. Lastly, Floor 15 featuring Clover Academy Charlotte and Julius. I start off with my F2P team comp since it offers an easier route to complete the stages. Make sure you have the speed gear set equipped on Charlotte so she will get her turn first to enable counter attack before Langris uses his special on his first turn. The off turn damage from the party and Noel barrier counters will help a lot in killing off your opponents. Focus on eliminating Langris first since he can raise his party speed and spam his special like no tomorrow. Once he is out, focus on the attackers Julius or Noel next. After the attackers are eliminated, the fight will be significantly easier once the major threats are eliminated. It is an awfully hard for my mono team comp since my Charmy can't use her skills until the HP recovery reduction or negation debuff are gone. I actually want to change up my team comp but the game keep on crashing on me whenever I attempt the change. So I ended up have to tough it out with my default team comp. Before you start the fight, make sure you have good defense pieces on your party. Try to have Mars taunt lock Langris and Julius so they will target Mars. This way you can minimize your casualties. Hopefully you can have Charmy reapply her continuous healing once Langris debuff fall off and before he reapplies them with his special. Due to the threat posed by Langris, I have Julius uses his skill to focus on draining Langris stamina as my first priority. Floor 13 requires you tough out a while until Noel's barrier buff wears off before you can start to drain their stamina with Julius and Lotus. Now let me proceed with the runs showcase.
They're all roadside pebbles. Side pebbles.
They're all roadside pebbles. They're all roadside pebbles. Yeah! <laughs> 
They're all roadside pebbles. Side pebbles. <laughs> <laughs> 